So, uh, what do you think about this party? What am I supposed to think? I don't have a choice. Well, I mean, I know you have no choice, no, but hey, at least the boss gave you a fancy outfit, you know? He takes care of people who help him. I guess. Man, I wish I was told to go to this party. I want to know what it's about and all, you know? The boss said it's supposed to be a private party, and only certain people will be there. Hey, you think you'll meet an ambassador or something? How am I supposed to know? Yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. That invitation sure sounded weird. I wonder why the boss was so freaked about it, though. I mean, I know he's mega paranoid, but for a party? <laughs> That's almost crazy! Lawrence! Fine, fine, I'll shut up. Sorry. I'm sorry. I just... I know. You're scared. You have every reason to be scared about this. But don't let it get to you and make you twitchy. The boss trusts you to pretend to be him. And no one in the party is even supposed to know him. I know. And here we are. This is a fancy-ass house. Who owns this place? Probably the schmuck that invited the boss. Yeah. Well, it was nice knowing you. Hey. I know you were forced to do this. But be careful, alright? You're too good of a person to get into trouble. You're only doing this because the boss is forcing you to. If anything, just keep quiet the whole time. I'm sure the boss will figure everything out. Alright. Call me when you need a getaway. Oh, hello. Do you have an invitation? Uh, yeah, I do. Right here. Wonderful. Come on in. We've been expecting you, Blue Jay. Um, Blue Jay? Did you just call me Blue Jay? Yes. Every guest will use an alias to make sure there is as much peace as possible for tonight's gathering. I'm sure you understand, Blue Jay. Yeah, okay. Oh, I almost forgot. Will you please hand over any weapons you may have? It's a strange request, yes, but it's for the safety of the party. My weapons? Um, sure, why not? Oh, wow, uh, thank you. You're the second one to give me their weapons without fighting me. Should I have fought you? N no, I wasn't insinuating anything. It's just... Being a maid is a hard job, especially when I have orders to obey that don't always go over well with the guests I serve. Thank you, though, for making my job easy. Here we are, the drawing room. Dinner hasn't been prepared yet, so I must ask that you wait here until then. If you need me, please just call for Chickadee. Thanks. Hmm, and who are you? Hmm? I'm Blue Jay. Blue Jay, huh? Nope, I still do not have a clue who you are. Obviously, you must be no one of importance. I believe that's the point of having an alias, Swan. An alias removes all status from a person, making anyone with a similar alias a person of equal standing. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't ask for your opinion. I didn't ask permission to give it. And you are... Blue Jay, is it? I go by the name Robin tonight. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, this is bull, man. Why are we all invited to this rich-ass place? And what's with the stupid bird nicknames? Swan, Robin, Blue Jay, Nightingale, Chickadee? What's with this? It's best not to question anything for now, Nightingale. We are all were invited here for a reason. But why the hell am I called Nightingale? Well, a Nightingale is known to be a bird of song, singing loudly and almost obnoxiously in urban areas. Yeah, it sounds about right with you. Whoa, now! Hey, easy, Tiger. Enough. This is getting ridiculous. Blue Jay, was it? Why don't you go fetch Cuckoo Bird or whatever she is and demand that she explain all of this to us? So demanding. Blue Jay, instead of doing that, how about coming to have a drink with me, hmm? 
I'm sure the drive here made you parched, and you did just arrive. Scotch is rather grand. Y you you'll enjoy it, I'm sure. How dare you! <laughs> Looks like you rustled the swan's feathers, Freako. Hmm. <laughs> Bothersome men. Do what you want, Blue Jay. Come. Thank you. So, I'm sure you are aware of the situation here, Blue Jay. From the looks of it, we all have something in common. Quit hogging all the booze, Jackwad. And I'm pretty sure we both can hear you. We ain't deaf. I wasn't assuming such a thing, Nightingale. I'm merely focused on my conversation with Blue Jay. By the by, Blue Jay. That is an interesting alias that was chosen for you. What's so interesting about Blue Jay? Blue Jays are highly curious, said to be intelligent. At the same time, however, they are obnoxious and loud. Louder than nightingales on occasion. Slow as well. Yet here you stand, youthful and almost silent. God, it's fascinating. Well, not all of our aliases have a connection with us. And are you so sure of that? Swans are beautiful creatures, representing matehood. On the outside, they are pure and lovely to behold. At the same time, however, they are aggressive to those who try to invade their nests and territories. What does that have to do with me, Robin? I think the freak means to say that you're a- You do not wish to finish that sentence. <laughs> Nevertheless, please allow me to be frank. We're all here for a reason, and I suggest we find out why. And how, may I ask, do you plan to do that? Simple. We talk about what makes us what we are. What is this, a therapy session? If it is, I'm out of here. Not a therapy session. More like, a uh, group interrogation. What say you, Blue Jay? Are you- Oh, hi. Uh, please hold on. Look, I don't care why you are here, okay? Wait! I just know for a damn fact that you do not belong here. I belong here as much as you do, you brutish snake! What is going on out there? Let's go check it out. You're nothing more than a dirty fox, woman. Sneaking into beds to get into our heads. You are mistaken. We don't sneak in. You invite us in. That doesn't change the fact you steal information from us. That's because you become too drunk to care what comes out of your mouth. Uh, please don't shout. You both are welcome. If your host knows what's good for him, then you'll kick this slut out. Slut? That's not what you called me when we last met. Shut up! Such vulgarity. Whoa! Hey, hey, what's going on here? Hey, how come I know you? Ah, I recognize you as well. I just can't remember where. Chickadee, please introduce us. Y yes This is Raven and Crow. They came in together. Not together. You wish we were, Raven. <laughs> Crow has a sharp tongue. I like her. And this is Swan, Nightingale, Robin, and Blue Jay. Well, aren't we a plucky bunch? Was that a bird joke? <laughs> yes, indeed it was. Splendid. Everyone is here then. Huh? Everyone? This is it? A small group for a party, isn't it? Yes, Crow. It's what Dove requested. Dove? Is that the host? Where's the host, anyway? There's only six of us down here. Please be patient. Please. Dove has requested you have dinner without them, and the preparations have just been completed, so, if you please... I don't like this one bit. Tell Dove to get his ass down here or- Hush, Raven. Let's just eat and get this over with. I'm sure Dove will come down soon enough. Yes, it's probably best to keep our wits about us tonight. Whatever, I'm starving. Crow, will you walk with me? Delighted to, Swan. Ugh. Blue Jay, come along. Here we are. Please have a seat anywhere you like. Man, the food better be good. Allow me to escort you to your chair, Swan. Thank you. <laughs> Blue Jay, with me. I'm sure sitting with me would be preferable to sitting with an angry raven. <laughs> Chickadee, if I may ask, why are there two empty chairs? Oh, 
well, uh, as I said, Dove cannot come down for dinner. That still leaves one extra chair. Well, there were supposed to be seven guests. However, Falcon could not make it tonight. He sent a message to Dove stating his absence. <laughs> He's a smart coward. A coward? How? Let's be honest here. None of us look like we're the normal sort, do we? If you are trying to imply that we're all connected to the Underworld, you are correct. Ah, uh, so that's the connection. I was under the assumption that everyone in here had riches of some sort. Ah, uh, what the hell, man? How come I ain't heard of any of you? Because we deal in different areas of the Underworld, it would seem. Allow me to be frank, Crow, but I assume you run a companionship web. Indeed I do, Robin. And you are an informant. <laughs> what gave that away? I've slept with enough informants to know one when I hear one. Intelligent, calculating, and a little snobbish with their wisdom. So, an informant and a madame. Interesting combination. And you, Swan, are the wife of a crime lord. How did you figure that out? Your wedding ring and clothes. Gucci, correct? I recognize that dress from a private collection. Rather expensive. Keen eyes, Crow. It was a gift from my husband. Tell me, did they invite you or your husband? Me. The host obviously knows who holds the actual reins of my husband's little business. I'm rather impressed. You run your man's company? Very efficiently, Nightingale. What of you? I don't know. I could be anyone. I could be a cop. You a cop? <gasps> Raven, please calm down. I'm just playing. Jeez. I just run a business, I- Drugs, I assume? Yeah. What's it to you? Uh, nothing, of course. And what about you, Mr. Raven? What's your deal? He's a con man. A con man? You must be joking. This brute- Watch it! I'm not joking. He's the son of a military sergeant, so he has many connections to the branches of government. He gains their trust, swindles money, and threatens them with their lives, both physically and socially. That's smart, man. Hey, what about you, Blue Jay? What do you do? Isn't it obvious? Blue Jay is a mere underling. An underling? It would seem that Blue Jay's boss was too afraid to come on their own, so they sent their silent underling to come in case this party was more than just that. How'd you know? Oh, come now, Blue Jay. You're too quiet to be a crime lord. Your silence gave your status away. A real crime lord would be adding more to the conversation. So we got two cowards in our midst. Great. Man, you still haven't told us how they're cowards. Don't be an idiot. It's been all over the news lately. About how the cops are finding more ways to round up crime lords. Get them all together and you can end five to six businesses and anything underneath them. It's just a scare tactic to get us to overreact. Is it? The Wizen Falcon or the real Blue Jay here with us. They have reasons to hide. They must know something is up with this whole party. Raven, you're overreacting. I had this place looked into before I arrived. And Dove isn't a cop. How do you know that, might I ask? Chickadee here used to work for me. Didn't you, Chickadee? Uh, well, I... Yes, ma'am. Chickadee left my business merely a month ago. My protocol is to keep track of every person that leaves, and soon enough, she went into the employ of a foreign smuggling ring. Thanks to some whispers from my male brothel, the owner of the ring is... Dove doesn't wish to be named aloud, ma'am. I mean, Crow. And why not? We are all obviously connected to the Underground. There's no fear in releasing our actual names now, is there? If I may be so forward, I would rather remain under my alias. Makes our conversations a lot easier when no one has my name over my head. I would have to agree. My name, at least, is worth a fortune. I'll stick to being the Swan. I may hate the nickname, but I'd rather go out as some nobody named Nightingale than let my business fall. Besides, we have an underling with us. Blue Jay can easily give information back to their boss. Then why don't we silence them now? Hey! Why am I not surprised you'd use violence, Raven? Blue Jay, you may be an underling, but in this room you are a nobody like the rest of us. Understood? Yeah, yeah, sure. All right. Good. See, Blue Jay will do nothing. It's for the best, anyway. With all of us on equal ground, we can simply enjoy the night. Assuming there are enjoyments to be had besides dinner. <laughs> But what about- There are no authorities here, Raven. Why are you so up in arms about this? Man, I'd feel safer with my shank right now, though. I'm sorry I had to take everyone's weapons, but it was for the best so that no violence happened. Such a pathetic excuse. What if Dove is a cop disguised as a smuggler, huh? 
Well, this whole thing's a sham. Now you're just desperate. Oh, uh, dinner's ready. The best thing we can do right now is to relax and enjoy the meal prepared for us. There's no use in being riled up while eating. What? You saying that they'll ruin our stomachs or something? It would certainly ruin my appetite. Next thing you know, the food is poisoned. Man, don't start. I'm starving. It's unlikely that the food would be poisoned. Even if your theory was correct, there's no money or publicity to be gained having us all dead. The police are better off arresting us versus killing us. Besides, poisoning food is an old method of killing. I highly doubt it would be brought back for any reason. Just eat the food, Raven. There's salt on the table if you desperately want to make salt water before eating. <sighs> Dove hopes you enjoy the dishes. We have two options tonight. One dish is a Wagyu ribeye steak with a black truffle peppercorn sauce paired with green beans. The other is a truffle linguine with roasted salsify and a cauliflower custard. The linguine sounds delightful. Mm, I'll have that as well. Man, I'll take the meat. Bring on that ribeye. I guess I'll go for the ribeye as well. Blue Jay, what will you have? Um, whichever works for me. Here you are. Everyone, please enjoy your meals. This is pretty good. And not poisoned, from the looks of it. Never hurts to be cautious. You are never cautious. Never too late to start. My compliments to the chef, Chickadee. And the Dove for organizing the menu. Dove will be pleased to hear that. Yeah, man. This food is great. It's a shame Dove isn't here to enjoy the meal with us. Well, Dove is very busy at the moment. Dove sends apologies to each of you. Doesn't that make Dove more suspicious? Probably wants to have more time to make themselves presentable. Proper hosting requires standards in physical appearances. Wouldn't that be irrelevant given that we're all under alias? Just because we won't be able to name them doesn't mean we won't judge them. Let him take his time then. That means we can eat more, right? Well, I didn't have any dessert prepared, but... No dessert? Ah, oh, come on! I, I was instructed to bring everyone to the drawing room after dinner. I'm sorry. I didn't have time to think of a dessert to add. It's alright, Chickadee. Relax. Allow us to finish and we'll follow you to the drawing room. I'm assuming Dove will be there waiting for us? Yes, Robin. There. We'll meet Dove soon enough. Now can we please get back to the meal? Uh, whatever. So, Blue Jay, how does it feel to eat with underground giants, huh? Huh? Think about it. An underling eating with the elite? In a public scenario, this would be unheard of. Man, we all start from the bottom in one way or another. I got you, Blue Jay. Not all of us. Oh, come on. You married a rich guy. He married me. I was the one with the power that he desired. And I said yes because he's a decent man. <laughs> You're lucky. Not many good men are obtainable in the world we live in. I said decent, not good. What's the difference? The bedroom? You read my mind so well. No wonder why I like you. Wait, so you married a guy who shit in the sack? Well, now my appetite's been ruined, thank you. Mine too. Well, if we're finished, then I guess we should move along to the drawing room? Is Dove here now? Well, I don't know, but... What are we waiting for? How brutish. Raven, calm yourself! Uh, sir, wait! No chance! I want to see who this Dove is! What for me? Oh, for goodness sake. Ugh. Might as well join them. <sighs> Just there's no patience for the weak-minded. Shall we, Blue Jay? Please, Raven, wait! Who does this dove think he is? I'll show him a thing or two! Chickadee, just let him go. He's not going to stop no matter how hard you try! A brute as a con man. I can hardly believe it. It's not surprising. A brute can only get so far without brains. He obviously... What the hell is this?! Excuse me. What is it, Raven? Huh. 
Dove's a chick? I beg your pardon, but what is going on? Was dinner not satisfying? Ma'am, I tried to stop him, but he insisted to see you. It's all right, Chickadee. Go back and clean the table if the chef's servants haven't already done so. Y yes Dove. Please, sit. So our host is a woman. That explains the formal hospitality. Are you insinuating that men don't treat guests as well as women do? From my experience, yes. Women have a more refined taste in planning evenings. Kinda sexist, don't you think? Depends on who you're speaking to. Enough with the jabber. You! Me, sir. Who the hell are you, and why the hell did you invite us all here? <clears throat> if you'd please calm yourself, I will happily explain. Calm myself? Why should- Raven, sit down. You don't tell me what to do, woman! I'm suggesting that you sit down so we can resolve your matter like human beings, you ignorant brute. <laughs> Now, assuming we're all calm, we can go about this civilly. Dove, there are many things you have to explain to us. I'm aware. I apologize for the confusion everyone seems to be feeling. Believe me, though, there is method and reason to these proceedings. Well, obviously. However, doesn't this all seem very useless? You know each of our true identities, or else you would have never found us and invited us to whatever this is. That is correct. However, I didn't want there to be hostility between anyone in case people knew each other. <laughs> kind of late for that. Don't look at me, Raven. You started snarling at me first. So it would seem. Regardless, I wanted you all to come because I wanted to know who were the important people of this region. The important people? My, you do know your tastes. What do you mean by know us? She means to compliment us. Apparently, we are the best the underworld has to offer. Sick. But this isn't like some meeting for like a Justice League or whatever, right? I don't like heroes. <laughs> Nothing of the sort. I just wanted to get to know the greater powers of the region, and possibly make business connections. Nothing more. Seems convenient. Why do you say that? Having all the powers of the region here in one spot provides an opportunity. Or an advantage. Please know that there is no advantage to be taken. I merely wish to enjoy my first time here with similar-minded friends. So... You're new here. Correct, Robin. I just moved into this quaint home. Isn't it lovely? A bit rustic, but nonetheless charming. And we're derailing the topic. Look, I just want to know who you are and why the hell I should trust you. For all I know, you could be a cop undercover as a smuggler, or whatever the hell you tell us. I would not risk my life like that. Police don't think as well as we do. And how well is that, exactly? Policemen aren't as delicate as we are. We take multiple steps to ensure we're never found out. Policemen would rather barge into a home and ravage the place for their answers, while we prefer the subtle approach to finding what we want. They don't think hard enough to expect someone outside of the city to be the mastermind of a smuggling ring within the city borders. There is a reason I still live far from cities, despite being what I am. Well, it'd make sense. If you're nowhere near where the police expect you to be, they'll never suspect you. Precisely. This is why I asked all of you to come out here to conduct business. Versus meeting in a fancy ballroom or whatnot, where cops may flutter about trying to take us. Then why take our weapons? It's to make sure we don't just shoot each other for power. Believe me, I would prefer to have my own weapon in my garter, but I'd rather discuss business civilly, instead of talk with the fear of getting a bullet through my head. But won't you have access to all our weapons? Your maid took them, so technically you got them. That is untrue. Chickadee has them and will place them in the safe right by the door right now, won't you? Oh, uh, right now. Right. They'll all be safe in here. That safe is probably the most secure place for storage in this building. It's also in plain sight of everyone in this room, so that, in case anyone tries to go for their weapon, we'll be able to see them. What of hidden weapons? I'm not concerned. You all were scanned before entering the building by a hidden metal detector. There, I was able to see every weapon you all had, and had Chickadee take all of them, including the ones people tried to hide. What? Oh, hell no, my other knife? What the hell? I'm sorry, I had to. Using your sleight of hand skills from when you worked with me. Nice. I must say, I'm proud. Thank you, Crow. So what now? Are we just going to sit around and talk about business? How are we supposed to do that under alias? You don't need names to trade merchandise, Raven. And I suppose you have merchandise to offer? As a matter of fact, I do. Chickadee?
That's a lot of diamonds. You have diamonds? Blood diamonds. Correct, Robin. These are blood diamonds. Worth a fortune. I'm willing to trade these for anything anyone has to offer here. Oh, I'm, I'm starting to understand this now. This party's not just a party, it's a product showing. You wish to show us your worth in the underground enough to pull diamonds out to the most infamous bosses around. Do you see anyone complaining, Robin? I'm not. I want that chest of diamonds. Man, the bling these glitters would make. You try to prove yourself with diamonds? <laughs> you have no power at all. Might I add that these diamonds were bought from the head rebel leaders in Africa? You're bluffing. Am I now? Chickadee, would you mind phoning up one of our African friends now? I'm afraid I must prove something to Raven. Yes, ma'am. Even if it were true, this proves nothing except your flaunting power like an underdog to a pack of wolves. You have no- ah! What's going on? Do you ah! Oh, shit! Oh, God! Shit! Oh, God! For God's sake, someone get the lights! I got it! I got it! Oh, my God! Marianne! Marianne! Oh, my God! Marianne! All right, who has a gun? Hey, don't look at me. My stuff got locked up. Moron. We all were scanned and all of our weapons were confiscated. Someone in here's a liar. Right, Dove? Marianne. Why would the hostess shoot her own maid? To prove she has power enough to murder her own servants. You're delusional. Enough! <clears throat> we all need to just calm down and breathe. But someone still has a gun. Oh, hell no. I need my knives, man. I ain't gonna stay here on arm. Keep the damn weapons. I'm out of here. Good idea. Let's just go. Blue Jay, I suggest following. I checked everyone. No one here has a weapon that isn't in the safe. Maybe it was hidden where Marianne couldn't take it off of someone. But why Marianne? Why not me, then? I don't know, Dove. Why won't the door open?! What are you shouting about now?! It seems that the door is locked and barred somehow from the other side. What? Uh, how can that be? You tell us! You own this house! Release the locks at once and let us leave, Dove. I'm not stopping you! The door should be unlockable from the inside! Well, none of us can open the stupid thing! It's like something was pushed against the door to block it from opening. Not even Raven could ram through. That's impossible. All of us were in this room. What is going on? So we're trapped in here. Unless we can break the door down. Um, hello? The windows. Fucking dumb. All of the windows are made of bulletproof glass and are sealed shut. What the hell? Why? It's a security measure. It's to make sure no one comes in to steal anything or tries to sneak my valuables out of the window from the inside. A smuggler would have a lot of things to hide in her own place, so it makes sense. Aren't there other exits? There has to be at least one. Answer me, Dove. Let's just split up and try to find a way out, okay? We are not splitting up. What? Why not? Someone in here is a goddamn murderer armed with a gun. If we split up, they'll get a new target all alone. He's right. It's better if we all stay together. That way, if any of us is the murderer, then the rest of us can overpower them. Rationalizing while a murderer is on the loose. <sighs> this is going to end well. So, what? Are we just gonna walk through the house and find another way out? There is another way out. Through the kitchen. And now she tells us. Terrific. Shut it, Swan. It's a way out. Then let's go. You've got to be shitting me. This door won't open either? Are there any other doors that will open? Ah! This is ridiculous! First the front door, now this one! Are there any other doors? Those are the only doors I know of. I think it's safe to assume that any and all of the doors in this house are barred and locked in. Well, what do we do then? Are we just going to sit around and wait for the lights to go out again and get killed one by one? Do you have any better ideas? I do. It's Dove's house, so... I didn't lock us in here! Who else could have done this, Dove? None of us have any access to this house and its entrances. You must have found some way to... That's it! I've had it! What? 
We're all gonna go to the drawing room. Blue Jay? What? I am not! Wait a minute. This is my- I said! We're all going to the drawing room. Let's go. Now hold on. Who the fuck put you in charge? Let's just go for now. We'll figure everything out once we get back into the drawing room. Blue Jay may be onto something. But, Marianne. Dove, let's not argue. We're all flustered enough as it is. It's the best idea we have for now, and we can respectfully cover her. So, come on. All right, we're here. Now what? Right now, we're all suspects to this case. We were all in this room when the murder happened, so only one of us could have done it. Now you're sounding like a cop. I used to be a cop before I started working for my boss, so I know exactly what cops will look for in a murder case. Well, you are a cop! Raven, I swear to God! Ex-cop. How the fuck do we know if he's telling the truth? Used to be a cop, my ass. He probably is one! Look, I don't give a fuck what you think about me, Raven. I'm also stuck in here with the rest of you. If I was a cop, I would have phoned for backup already to come break me out. Did you think about that? It would take about 15 minutes for any police car to locate you, and another 10 just to get here. Exactly. It's already been about 5 minutes. In about 20 minutes, you'll see if you're right. <laughs> Blue Jay's got balls. But he's right. We're wasting time talking about cops when we should figure out which one of us is a killer. How do we figure that out? We make the murderer confess. How? Interrogation. The most effective way to put someone under pressure and make them snap a confession in order to end it. It's also a cop's preferred method of getting answers. Under pressure. Mm-hmm. And we'll start with Crow. Huh? Why me? You've known Chickadee the longest, and you've also confirmed that she used to work for you and your brothel. You've kept track of her, and even knew that she would frisk your weapons. Would you have any reason to kill her? Of course not. Even if your company's secrets were on the line? She was an underling, like you. She barely knew anything about my company except how to serve and please women. She was a consort for female clients? All of my underlings can choose who to sell themselves to. We're not limited to heterosexual relationships. That would limit our clientele. You would be surprised how many business wives need a female's touch behind their husband's backs. What about you? Do you only serve girls? <laughs> no. While I freely flirt and tease, I screw men. Well, they screw me, technically. However, I haven't gotten much diverse work since my latest client frequently reserves me for security reasons. Not that I mind, of course, as long as he can pay me every time. Raven, I assume? What? How did- Dude, don't even play. It's kind of obvious. Yes. Raven is paranoid and believes that I will sell the information he drunkenly blurts out whenever we're together. So he pretty much takes up my time and ensures my silence with money. Can we get back to the issue, please? I apologize, Blue Jay. However, Marion was my best female consort. I would never dream of hurting her, much less kill her. That's the key, however. She was your best. She left your company to work for Dove. So she was no longer bringing her best work to your business. And do you believe that because I tracked them and knew of this place before I came here, I had the method and plan to murder her? Who wouldn't? Fair enough. But allow me to be a forensics expert. The bullet landed between her eyes. I was standing by the desk with the diamonds, behind her. I couldn't have done it without someone hearing me rush over, pulling a gun out of whatever, aiming in the dark, and firing. And she'd have spent more time trying to hide a quickly fired gun and returning to her place without anyone noticing she moved in the dark. So what does that mean? That means everyone who wasn't around the diamonds is a suspect. The only person I remember not being interested in the diamonds was... I dare you to say me. But she's right to assume, Raven. I didn't shoot anyone. Says the one who would jump down anyone's throat claiming that they're a cop. I have my reasons! Of course. You wouldn't want a cop to know that you were planning the murder of an innocent maid. Do you want to say that shit to my face? You have no idea who the fuck you're dealing with. I know exactly who I'm dealing with. Crow made that very clear. I'm dealing with a con man who thinks his fist will silence any threat his way. How does it feel to be the helpless one here? Get him! Holy shit, the cops got skill. Oh dear! Are you done? Get off of me! You've already proved your point, Raven. You're not the killer. I believe you! Now calm the fuck down! Huh? What? 
He already proved that- He didn't pull out a gun when he was at his highest peak of rage. No, 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 no. A real murderer would have pulled out a gun and shot, silencing their interrogator, regardless of their audience. <laughs> but now we're at a dead end. There's no one else. Actually, there are five suspects left. What? If Raven isn't the killer, then the theory that the culprit wasn't by the diamonds when it happened is off the table. You can't be serious. Unfortunately, it makes sense. If we were the only ones in the room, then it had to have been one of us, regardless of the circumstances. That means I'm back to being a suspect. Perfect. Welcome to the club. Now, Robin. Of course you'd question me next. Go ahead. I'm ready to answer anything you may have. That's the thing. I can't question you because you'd pass all of them with flying colors. You're an informant and a sociopath, so you know how to make us believe you. A deadly combination, don't you agree? That's not ominous at all. Oh, fuck no! The sociopath did no, it! No, you imbecile. It's an expression of how I can pass any interrogation thrown at me with precise ease regardless of whether I did it or not. Exactly. Which is why I think you didn't do it. Oh? Enlighten me to why. A sociopath like you wouldn't panic so easily if you really killed someone. Acting human is one thing. Actually experiencing and expressing panic after a murder is another. Well, color me impressed. Oh, I'm curious as to why you quit the police force with a brain like yours. I'll tell you about it after we figure out who the murderer is. Consider it a date then. <laughs> We're going in circles. How are we supposed to figure anything out? We're doing the best we can, okay, Dove? This is getting on my nerves. How the hell are we supposed to figure out which of us is the murderer when everyone somehow has an excuse not to be? Well, it's not like the killer is just gonna say, Yo, it was me, after answering some questions. You'd be surprised what you can get out of someone with a few simple words. Like what? Hit me with whatever you got. I know I'm also a suspect. Did you sell drugs here? No. You're not the killer. How do you know that? He's a drug dealer. If he wanted to kill anyone, he'd kill Duff for the diamonds. But he'd have us to deal with. He wouldn't aim for Chickadee. That's some fucked up logic, but it's true. Sometimes analyzing gang behavior can reap factual benefits and win over conversations and discussions. Speak English, ex-cop. My point. Now, Swan. Oh no, you are not interrogating me without a lawyer present. I refuse to partake in this nonsense. So, you admit to the crime. How dare you assume such a thing? It's policeman mentality, Swan. Mm. If you plead the fifth and hide behind an attorney, whoa, then you're pleading guilty. What else are we supposed to expect? That I'm not guilty. But how do we know that? If you're not guilty, then why be defensive? Because only low-life scum actually resort to murder, especially with a gun. I am above that, and I refuse to be assumed as such. Besides, why would I kill the help? There's no motive. Because you didn't. What makes you so sure? Swan grabbed onto me when the gunshot went off. I'm her alibi and she is mine. And you didn't say anything before because? Because I assumed forensics would remove suspicion from us without going into further details that we can't prove. Remember, Marion was shot in the head by someone in front of her. The majority of us were by the desk looking at Dove's diamonds. The only one who was by the door was Raven. Wait a minute, Blue Jay. Weren't you the one who got the lights after the gunshot went off? That's right. Blue Jay? Yeah, I was at the door too. So what? So you were also by the door. In front of Chickadee. Meaning you could have- What are you- I want you to go through every single article of clothing I am wearing and double verify that I'm not carrying a weapon. Catch. There are two side pockets and an empty gun holster sewn onto the right side. Whoa, uh, are you for real? Just check the jacket. I assume you expected that? Of course I did. I have my own proof that I didn't do it, so there's no need for me to pretend or hide anything. I'm the investigator here, not the murderer. So does that mean we all have to strip? As much as I love a show, this is only a waste of our time. For goodness sake, stop him! You're clean. You're, you're clean. Man, we get it. You're clean. Just don't take off your pants or anything. I believe you. I... Thank you. Now, that means the remaining person to question is Dove. Huh? You want to question Dove? We all know that she was near the diamonds when it happened. She couldn't have done it. Why am I still a suspect? Unfortunately, I hate to say it, just because you're upset doesn't mean you couldn't have had something to do with it. Blue Jay, you're taking it too far! 
No, he's not. Raven could have been right from the beginning. She could have shot her own servant to prove a point. What? A bit of a stretch, don't you think? Not entirely a stretch. It's possible, depending on the circumstance. There are many ways she could have accomplished this, being that this is her house. I did not kill Marianne! Then tell me something, Dove. Did you plan tonight's party on your own? What? Where is this coming from? Just please answer. I... Dove? What's wrong? You didn't, did you? Chickadee helped you and probably suggested it to you one night. Since she's your most trusted underling in this building, enough to have her own alias. I mean, it's a good opportunity, so why not? Am I right? Yes. She suggested that I create this event, so I can make some new connections to help my business. Since she had worked for one of you before, she said that she knew how you all worked, so I trusted her judgment. So you threw a party, allowed Chickadee to organize a menu, and offered diamonds to the underground elite? You're correct. I didn't expect any of this to happen. I just wanted to host an event where I could meet others like me. That's all. Not to interrupt, but what was the point of those questions? Well, Swan, we have a potential setup. Huh? Right, now I'm confused. Explain, please. Chickadee had a reason for suggesting the event, to help Dove gain connections. However, what if that reason itself was a lie? Dude, the girl is dead. How are we supposed to know or figure that out? Only she knows, right? I think I see what you're getting at. Then enlighten us, for God's sake. Blue Jay isn't doing a good job at doing so. What if Chickadee's death, right, was an accident, hmm? And the murderer's target was meant to be someone else. That came out of nowhere. But think about it. Who had control of the entire event? Dove was missing until the dinner. The one who greeted everyone, set up the menu, and tried to enforce party rules... Was Marion. But then that means... That Chickadee died because of a misfired shot in the dark. The true target is still alive. God, this entire thing's a mind game, man. We got a killer, had a target, and now we have a new target even though someone's already dead. What are we supposed to believe? We should believe that someone in this house has a gun and is ready to use it. But who is it? Based on what we've gone over and what we know, it's no one in this room. What? And you know this because... There are more suspects than just us. There is someone else here who could have murdered Chickadee while she was still in here. What do you mean? The door to the room was closed. Was it? Did anyone hear or see the door closed? No. Because we were all focused on the diamonds. Are you kidding me? That means we have a new suspect. An outside killer. One of the kitchen staff who helped make dinner. Oh, shit. They can't be responsible. No way! Raven, didn't you mention a string of arrests involving crime lords going on in the city? It's been all over the news, right? Yeah, but what does that have to do with this? Think about it. A group of underlings getting together and staging an event where a group of elites dine and sell merchandise? <laughs> wow. That is the perfect setup. Why didn't I think of that? Especially if one of them dies during the event. They can't call the cops for help, so they try and leave to not be involved. So you lock the doors and trap the witnesses inside. But that isn't enough to get someone to rat them all out, is it? That's assuming there isn't someone else here besides us. What? Why leave a group to their own devices when you can leave someone to instigate more tension? At least one of two things will happen. Someone will call the authorities to get off easy, or the group becomes a flock of sitting ducks, waiting for the instigator to shoot someone else and make them turn on each other. Exactly. Leave a group of crime elites together, and someone is bound to break eventually. So the real murderer is still in the house with us. Oh, what the actual fuck? This whole thing is a conspiracy to overthrow crime lords. What kind of bullshit is that? Do you have any better ideas? Well, no, but... So what do we do now? We break out of here. Cassim, hold on! No, Ingrid! We are not just gonna sit around waiting for a pack of underlings to get another jump on us! Your name is Ingrid? Not now! Cassim! Just hold on a minute! The windows are bulletproof! You won't break them with a chair! Well, what the hell are we supposed to do? Why did they already call the cops on us? Then we go out fighting. Remember, our weapons are in a safe. A safe that's locked! The only one that had the code to unlock it is currently dead. You underestimate our abilities. Kasim, get the safe. What, so we're using our names now? Might as well drop the bird stuff. One can only use it for so long before going crazy. Fair enough. <sighs> there. Do it. You're not seriously going to try and unlock it, are you? We have no choice. Someone make sure that door is locked. That way they can't sneak up on us. 
kind of late for that, don't you think? Whoa! Who are you? Wha Lawrence? Evening, Ted. I didn't expect you all to sit back and figure it all out. Some of your theories are a little skewed, but close now. Lawrence, what are you doing? Sorry, Ted. This is why I told you to be careful. I didn't expect you to help them, but at least I came in before that safe was opened. You know him? The driver. But you can call me Falcon. You're Falcon? But Falcon is- Lawrence Oliver, up and coming trader and auctioneer. A recommended client from Chickadee, right? Marianne. You should really make sure you know exactly who you were connecting with before inviting them to your house. Never know if they'll take advantage. I trusted Marianne. There was no reason why she would have lied to me. That's adorable, but incredibly stupid. Then again, you are new to the underworld, so you wouldn't understand how true deception works. You! Don't... Everyone stay still! Now that I have your undivided attention, if you would be so kind, Crow, please, step away from the safe. Over my dead- ah! Ah! Him! Oh, For fuck's sake. I won't say it again. Lawrence, put the gun down. Ted, do not make me shoot you too. Are you okay, Ingrid? You bloody idiot. Oh, don't start the waterworks. I only got him in the shoulder. He's fine. The next one, however, will go through his head. Now. Step away from the safe. Bastard. Why are you doing this? Why? Because this is how the underground works, Ted. <laughs> the business dogs crack the whip on their lackeys and expect them to be good little underlings. But they eventually get whipped back. This was just delayed rebellion. Did your boss set you up to this? Please. My boss was supposed to be here. Too much of a coward to even consider showing up. And he was the one supposed to be shot dead. I'll get him next time around. However, he sent an underling to take a bullet for him. However, you wouldn't shoot someone you knew, so you changed targets. I wanted to get Dove, but Marianne got in the way of my shot when the lights went out. A last-ditch effort to protect her, I guess. Stupid bitch. You monster! What a fucking snake! I prefer Falcon. They swoop in and swipe their prey when the time is right. I just missed my main target. But it won't happen again. What do you want from us? Well, I want what Robin over there theorized. One of you either calls the police, so all of you take a trip behind bars, or I shoot each and every one of you. Either way, you all won't make it out of here without your precious businesses crumbling. And what about Ted over here? That depends on his next couple of answers. Ted? Don't start with that silent, cold bravado that makes you look mysterious and shit. Lawrence, you're acting like a goddamn nutcase. Ugh, don't feel sorry for these people, Ted. They deserve every bit of what's happening. All these guys care about are their little businesses, unaware of how they only succeed because of the people who slave under them. Lawrence, put the gun down. Not until I finish the job. Now, are you with me? Or them. You expect me to answer when you have a gun pointed at me? Call it a security measure. I'll call it what it is. Psychotic. Oh, don't tell me I ruffled your feathers too hard with this, Blue Jay. Don't you see what I'm trying to do? All I see is someone who I thought was a colleague pointing a gun at me and making me answer stupid questions to see if I live or die. It's more than that. Look at them, Ted. They're all criminals who stomp on the backs of others to make themselves richer. <laughs> We'd be doing the country a service by destroying their businesses and them. <laughs> Hell, I'm sure they'd make you a friggin' public hero for helping. I gave up being a hero for a reason, Lawrence. Some heroes are just as fucked up as the criminals are when you slam a badge on the chest. Wow. You're really gonna stand by these people. Yeah, I am. Well then, if that's what you've decided... I guess it's good- God. What? What the fuck? You talk too much. You- ah. No! How did you- Your one mistake was not knowing how Marion checked us for weapons. I taught her how to pickpocket, so I knew how to avoid her tricks. Ah. You idiot. You're-
too late. Son of a fuck! It's the feds! What are we going to do? We're still trapped in here. <laughs> Guess it's the end of the line for us. Dove, do you have a cellar? What? Y yes, I do, but- Lead everyone to it. Ingrid, give me your gun. What? Blue Jay. Just go, and make sure that cellar is locked up tight until they leave. Uh, uh, I... Dove! Just go! I'll keep them distracted. Everyone follow me. We'll get you out of this, Blue Jay. You know damn right we will. Are you proud of yourself, Lawrence? <laughs> of course I am. Marianne gave her life for the cause. And so will I. Not if I can help it. <laughs> You're defending the wrong side. It's not my place to defend them. Just like how it's not your place to say that they're wrong. Good or bad, right now, they're victims. <laughs> Once a hero, always a hero it seems. I'm no hero. So you went to this house to stop a colleague of yours from doing something stupid? Yeah, I tried to, anyway. And you were the one who called us? Yeah, I wanted to stop him, but it was too late. By the time I got there, he had already shot the maid was going for some case on the desk. So you decided to shoot him twice? He still had his gun. It was self-defense. Right. Well, all I could say is right now is that this case isn't closed. Your buddy Lawrence passed away before we could save him. So technically, you murdered him. We're gonna go back and investigate that house for anything else that... Sir? What do you want? I'm in the middle of something. Um, it's, uh... His lawyer, Daniel Reeves, defense attorney. What? Are you kidding me? I'm afraid not. See, my client, he's been through a traumatic experience, and I would appreciate if you released him to me sooner rather than later, Officer Anderson. Unless, of course, you'd like to be charged with harassment, I mean... We just finished. Take him. Thank you. Come along. Your name is Daniel? <laughs> one of many. Rule number one of being a crime lord, never give out your real name in public. Especially if you're claiming employment you don't actually have. <laughs> well, now what? Well, Dove's house is currently being cleaned of everything related to her business and the events of the party, and Raven's goons are making sure no cops come around until it's finished. Swan took it on herself to make sure this case gets cleared so you don't have to go to trial. If that's possible? Come now, Ted. If we couldn't wipe our crimes from the police records, we wouldn't be good crime lords. Hop in. Whoa! Really, Ingrid? Is that... necessary? What? I can't show my appreciation? He took a heavy hit for us, and he had to sit there in that police station for who knows how long. And he gets a free boob grab for that? <laughs> Maybe I should stop being a hero. Nah, I still don't like it. <laughs> More power to her, I guess. Oh, for goodness sake. Knock it off. Swan. Nightingale. Dove. Do not call me Swan. You may refer to me as Venka. Yeah, man. Let's not use those bird names anymore. Name's Jay. And my name is Annabelle. It's good to finally meet you properly, Ted. You're all here? Of course. We have to celebrate your release. After all, you did risk your life and your freedom for us. We have to thank you properly. Not like we haven't already. What do you mean? Well, we've taken the liberty of contacting your boss and negotiated with him to terminate your employment. You will no longer be reporting to him. Uh, why? Because you'll be under our watch. Got a problem with that? What CASA means is that we've all decided to pitch in and give you a well-deserved retirement from working as a thank you for our lives. A retirement? <laughs> yeah. How does lifelong sound? To be specific, lifelong financial and protective security funded by all of us. Uh, I still don't understand. Look, we may be crime lords, but that doesn't make us inhuman. You risked your freedom to make sure we got away. Even after everything that guy said, you were willing to help us. It was noble. Like, you didn't have to, but you stuck your neck out for us. That is something we won't ever be able to pay back in just breaking you out of prison or something like that. So, we wanted to give you the chance to live a normal life. 
A good person like you doesn't need to be in our little nest of activities, as interesting as they may be. So, what do you say? I, I really don't know what to say. <laughs> stunned, huh? Yeah, I'd be stunned too if I got the chance to never work again. Just so you know, if you don't want that, we can still arrange for you to have a normal life. We'll set you up with a good job and a nice place. Whatever you'd like. It's all up to you. I'll think about it. <laughs>